grades are up and things are back on track with school. And Samantha, I still don't think you can tell her about Ace Lightning. No offense, mate, but I'm even starting to wonder if you made the whole thing up. Cause having a superhero come to life from your video game, it's kind of like aliens landing or something. Pretty freaky stuff. Hey, I'm rolling here. <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. Ice cream. Hey, there's a fifty dollar fine for parking here, you know. Keep your shirt on, Duffy. Lord Fear says we gotta watch the kid find his weaknesses. Googler wants to Googlerize him. <laughs> Pipe down, you nutcase. You heard Mr. Rad. Lord Fear wants us to stay put. Fear's not here. Googler is. And Googler says, it's Googling time! <laughs> oh, no. oh, 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 wait, wait! Oh, no! Googler, get back here! It's a long! <laughs> it's hard to take a stand. It's hard to do what's right. No matter how scared you are, you have to stand and fight. And we don't have Opening line. You got some serious problems, Giggles. Yo, customer over here. Whoa. Take the truck. Just leave the ice cream. something. It really sounds like a UFO. Definitely, dude. Nothing else moves like that. And I got proof. Are you sure, Chuck? I mean, it could have been swamp gas or something. I know what gas sounds like, and it doesn't sound anything like this did. <laughs> we got to get this tape to the media. I didn't know you're into UFOs. Chuck, we're talking about aliens here. You're going to be famous. You lost Googler. Lose? <laughs> Who said lose? Did I say lose? No, 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 Aleph. No, we didn't lose him. We just uh, uh, misplaced the whereabouts of his, you know, uh, particular location. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. We lost him. We lost him. We lost. Him. Yeah. Oh. What about my truck? Uh, that's a fifty-dollar fine, you know. 
And if you think that any of that money's coming out of my pocket... Shut up, you brainless bungler. You heard his lordship. No! No! <laughs> Spare the staff and spoil the mortal. That's what I always say. I was only joking around, Lord Fear. Uh, I'll pay the fine. <laughs> it was 50 bucks anyway. Uh, I could make that back in, what, two, three bunch tops. We don't pay anyone. We take what we want, when we want it. And I want Googler, and I want that ice cream truck to find him. This rump roast is very tasty, darling. Mm, thank you. Thanks, Tom. Well, this strange and unbelievable story began here this afternoon. Well, Mark, isn't that your friend on the telly? Oh, fancy that. We're here in Pioneer Park with Conestoga resident Charles Mugel, who has just survived a close encounter with what some people are calling an unidentified flying object. Charles, what went through your mind when you saw this mysterious spacecraft? I thought for sure they were going to beat me up, Connie. Oh, no. Oh. They call this the news. It's more like tabloid trash. Live from the scene of the Conestoga Hills saucer sighting. It wasn't a saucer. It was... For Metroscape News, I'm Connie Woodward. UFOs? Right here in our town? <laughs> I don't believe it. I finished eating. Can I be excused? Yes, Mark. Why don't you go and play a video game or something? Uh, yeah. Simon, I don't know about this Mugle boy. Is he really the right kind of lad for our Mark to be spending time with? You don't understand. Sparks is on TV. Thousands of people saw her. I can live with that. We've got bigger problems, kid. Googler is on the loose. Oh, great. That's all we need. Googler out there terrorizing everyone. Chill out, guys. That sicko clown is mine. He beat you once, Sparks. Don't think he couldn't beat you again. I'm with Ace. Googler's too tough to take on alone. Listen, kid. When you've seen one twisted supervillain, you've seen them all. Googler's going down. He's fast, Sparks. Faster than you think. Never give Googler an opening. Never turn away. Don't even blink. Or he'll be on you so fast you won't know what happened. Don't worry about me, Ace. I get the picture. He's one tough cookie. Let's see how fast he crumbles. <sighs> Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Have I got a surprise for you? For my favorite saucer spotter. <laughs> the little green men are made of lime. The laser beams are made of whipped cream. And the saucer is an unidentified food object. <laughs> this is awesome, Mrs. Kutcher. <laughs> you sure know how to spin my saucer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you believe this? What, UFOs? No, Chuck. From Mr. Zero to Mr. Hero in one day, I think it's going to his head. Hmm. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. Then I hit the third, and whoosh! Gone. <laughs> Mrs. K, I don't like to see the students commingling. What's this all about? It's about aliens, Mr. Jesper. Oh, Chucky saw them. I think they may come back. Did you say aliens? They're back? No. no. Not the aliens. Hello. Relax. We're only pulling your leg. This is an outrage. I'm a science teacher. I'm a teacher. I have a party. Mr. Chesper. Mr. Chesper. Are you all right? You look like you were on another planet. I was, Mrs. Kutcher. A planet full of aliens. They abducted me once, but this time... <laughs> this time I'm ready for them. <laughs> oh, my. This is Talk Time Radio. You're live on the air. Yeah, 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 well, hi. Um, 
I want to talk about the aliens coming here. Uh, I got a skin rash the other day, and, and like, I don't know. I, I was thinking, you know, that, like, there might be some kind of connection between them. Now get us out of here, you weak-witted fool! Is there a problem here, sir? Yeah, there's a problem. This vehicle's impounded, pal. 50 bucks to get it out of here, or I'm calling the cops. 50 bucks? Mm. I'll call the cops myself, because that's highway robbery! Get out of our way, you imbecile. Aliens! Where? Where, where? Okay, uh, take whatever you want. Uh, just don't turn me into that ugly-looking thing. You dare insult his loneliness? <laughs> Ah! Woo -hoo -hoo! The aliens are coming! So, as you can see, it would be impossible for any spaceship of that size to enter our atmosphere without a mothership nearby. Maybe the mothership was just too far away. Or it was cloaked. Now you're thinking like a scientist, Mr. Mugo. Ever since my abduction, I have been looking for ways to protect mankind so that others will not have to suffer my unfortunate fate. Did the aliens probe you? Of course they did, for my scientific knowledge. Naturally, they tried to erase my memory of the experience, but bits and pieces of the ordeal have remained firmly embedded in my brain. And make sure you delete his memory file of this little adventure. We don't want him coming back here on a field trip, do we? Follow the button and repeat after me. Don, I'm good. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Ever since my abduction, I have developed a spectrographic scanner able to locate any alien life form by emitting a powerful laser pulse into the ionosphere. Mr. Mugel, you can identify the aliens. I trust you'll be joining me on Saturday to watch the laser in effect, huh? hmm? No can do. I'm book solid. I've got interviews with ABC, BBC, CNN, MTV, uh... I'll go with you, Mr. Chesbro. Done, Mr. Hollander. <laughs> We're here with the survivor of the latest alleged alien attacks. Gus, tell us what happened. Oh, uh, first they tried to get control of my mind by playing this weird sounding music, right? And that's when I grabbed my hockey stick and scared them away. <laughs> Did they try to probe you? No. But they wanted to, right? And that's when I said, hey, alien, you ain't probing me. <laughs> that was very brave of you, Gus. Thanks. I know it's rubbish, but... I... Fascinating, isn't it? What do the aliens look like? Oh, Mum, well, Dad... You know, no, Mark, now, Mark, face, we're watching the news. Skull. And uh, the other one was this little bat-looking thing. It's on the end of a stick. It had a British accent. Back to you. Thanks, Connie. It seems like they're everywhere. In other related news... Ace, Mr. Chesbro thinks Lord Fear and his gang come from outer space. So he's invented this alien detector. Now, I'm not sure if it works, but if it does, it might be a good way to find Googler. Good. Stick with him, kid, and let me know the second you see that giggling goon. Talking to the aliens? Gotta go. Ah, uh, hi. 
Do you really think Chuck saw that UFO? I think he saw something. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't a UFO. Well, that's too bad. Really? Yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of amazing things that we don't even know about or haven't been explained. Samantha, what do you think people would do if they saw an alien? I don't know. Run, scream, freak. Right, that's what I figured. But I wouldn't. I always thought I'd feel better knowing that there's something else out there. Okay, this may sound silly, but have you ever imagined how many amazing things haven't been discovered yet? You know, things that people say are impossible or could never happen, like the paranormal stuff on TV. Well, I want to see those things one day. It doesn't sound silly at all. In fact, an amazing thing really did happen to me. I've been trying to tell you about it for some time now. Come home. Googler. Come back, Googler. Googler? <laughs> What's a Googler? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm tired! I'm hungry! Googler's gotta get home! Oh. Oh. So, once the alien is in our midst, the spectrograph will emit a melodic ping, ping, ping. Ping. Precisely. Oh, and one other thing, Mr. Hollander. Break this device. You'll be sharing detention with your grandchildren. Shall we? First contact. The alien is close. Googler's gonna Google it! Let's get rolling! What on earth was, was that? They want my scientific knowledge. If they capture me, the human race is doomed. doomed. Going down. <laughs> Leave me alone. I've already been probed. Google's <laughs> <laughs> gonna get a little lightning night. <laughs> Great idea, Mr. Holder. Sacrifice yourself so I can find a way to save us all. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Chuckles. Huh? Try and laugh this off. Say good night, night. Stop, stop. Google gotcha. 
look after Raider Ace Kid. He needs you more than ever. Sparks. Do right, right. And fear not, fear not. This is for Sparks. Come back here. I'm not finished with you yet. You'll pay for this, you grinning ghoul. What happened? Is Sparks really gone? She's back in the sixth dimension. I still can't believe this is happening. It's supposed to be a video game. Well, kid, looks like this game of yours just got a lot more serious. Don't worry, Ace. We'll get her back. Well, folks, it's the story that just won't end. Connie Woodward has more on the UFO site. In a bizarre postscript to the alien story we reported earlier this week, Horace Chesbro, a science teacher at Conestoga Hills Middle School, apparently went berserk this afternoon after claiming the aliens were trying to abduct him. They're after me. They're after me. They, they want my brain. They're here. They're everywhere. They have these long... Tragic. We now report on the late-breaking story of a Bigfoot sighting at Otter Ridge. I haven't the slightest interest in Bigfoots. Mark, wasn't that your science teacher? We've spoken before. He seemed so normal. Ah, uh, yeah. Mr Chesbro's had some serious problems for some time now. Oh, how sad. Indeed. Just goes to show you that even ordinary people have some extraordinary secrets. I hear you, Dad. So that's the story, Pete. Sparks is gone. But we'll get her back when we find another piece of the amulet. Now, it's down to me and Ace again. You know, sometimes I wish I had my old life back. But when I think of Lord Fear taking over the world, and what Googler did to Sparks, then I know we've got to win this game, no matter what it takes. <laughs>